What's going on guys, I'm Money Back Head again with the Weekly Rust Skins videos and what do we have today? We've actually got a pretty interesting looking Rust item store. Um, we have the Black Gold SAP, continuation of the Copper set by Duck, we've got the Fireflies Metal Door, continuation of the Graffiti set, um, and then we've got the continuation of the Porcelain set, which I'm actually quite surprised about, continuation of Tempered and Zebra. So let's get started with the Copper Hoodie and Pants, going for $1.35 each. Very surprised that these are starting off at the standard store price for hoodie and pants. Overall, I'm going to recommend investing in both of them. Um, I hate to say it, but Duck, you've done good. You've done good. I I own the police jacket, um, the police hoodie, whatever the hell it's called, and it hasn't really gone down yet, I guess. But in this, like at the same time, there isn't a very high quantity for them, um, and so it, it does mean that they're not going to drop as much for that reason. Um, just because people aren't really going to be able to panic sell them because there's not really that many people that actually own them. So uh, they're still sitting around uh, over $50, so probably around $55 at the moment. And I do think that this copper hoodie is going to be a good cheap alternative. Of course, I definitely think this is going to get oversaturated to the max, probably number one. Currently, it's number four on the top sellers, so that's not what you'd expect. Although overall, it's most likely going to be the highest selling item of the week. Um, you can check that on SCMM, um, which is the website made by Bipolar Penguin. Um, also, the copper pants, of course, they are also a dollar and thirty-five cents, and will also be stonks. Um, we already have the police hoodie, and now we have the police uh, the copper pants, which can be paired with um, either the copper pants and the copper hoodie, or the copper pants and the police um, hoodie. So, overall, uh, they look really good. Good work, Doc. Um, let's move over to the weapons and we'll get started with the black gold SAP. Now the SAP is about to have a recoil buff as in it's going to have less recoil. Um, just by the videos that I've seen from like Mr. Flack and people like that, um, on staging and stuff like that. So of course, as Shadowfrax would say, it is all subject to change, but the black gold SAP's price isn't by the look of it and the price of it has continued at $5.50 uh, starting with the Rust Adam store. So that is a little bit disappointing and I'm not going to recommend investing in it off of the Rust Adam store because I do think it is too expensive. Um, you could get a cheaper alternative being the Poseidon SAP also made by Bad Trip. Um, and yeah, honestly, I just think you're going to be able to get the black gold SAP for cheaper off of the community market. So not going to recommend investing in this one as a short-term investment, especially off of the Rossana store, as I do think it will go down before it goes back up. Uh, as a long-term investment, though, I do think the black gold SAP can make you money. But honestly, I don't think it's going to make you an, an incredible amount or even that much money. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the black gold SAP. If it does become better, though, of course, it will uh, go up in value, but I don't think it will. Moving over to the Tempered Double Barrel, continuation of the Tempered set. And now this has been a very successful set, as we all know. And it has recently had its, um, what, chest plate and stuff buddy accepted as well. So that was a crazy big boom and a massive surprise. But $4.80 for the Tempered Double Barrel, quite frankly. It is too expensive on the Rust Adam store. And I do think you will be able to get it cheaper with a buy order on the community market. And so I'm not going to recommend investing in it off the Rust Adam store, although I will recommend investing in it off the community market with a buy order, as I do think as a long-term investment, the Tempered Double Barrel will be a good investment. Of course, this is going to have a high, dem a high demand at all times because the Tempered is a very successful and popular set. Right, moving over to the Zebra MP5, going for $2.75. Um, this is a continuation of the Zebra set, of course, and... Honestly, the Zebra set hasn't performed very well. The AK is going for around like $2 and the LR is going for around about the same. And I do think the MP5 actually will perform better um, in comparison to the other two. Uh, and like AK, MP5 and LR are definitely going to be like, they're, they're already the three meta guns, but they're definitely going to be the three meta guns um, after this weapon balance or whatever weapon tune update. Um, just from the videos I've seen so far, as I said, they are still subject, subject to change. But uh, at the moment, those three guns look absolutely goaded and they look like everyone's going to be able to use them with um, relative ease. So $2.75 for the Zebra MP5. Even though I do think uh, there's quite a lot of cheap MP5 skins at the moment, 
of the command in the market and also the Zebra set isn't performing very well. Um, I would still recommend investing in this off of the community market though. $2.75 isn't a bad price for it to be starting at, but the Zebra set hasn't performed very well. Um, and so usually I'd recommend investing in the MP5 or the Rustom store, but in this case, I'd recommend trying to get the Zebra MP5 off of the community market with a buy order, um, just so it's a little bit cheaper. Um, and then also, of course, investing in it as a long-term investment. And now we'll move over to the deployables. Let's look at the porcelain furnace first. This one's going for $2.75 and a continuation of the porcelain set. Now we haven't had porcelain for ages. It had weapons, it's had armor and clothing, um, but I don't actually re recall it having any deployables until now. So it does have the furnace and the furnace actually does look pretty fat. Um, there is nothing stand out to it though, unfortunately. Like it doesn't look too crazy at night or anything like that. Although during the day it does look pretty fire and bloody edgelords in Rust do love the uh, dragon. So I do think that this will have a decent demand, but nothing too crazy. $2.75, I think this will be an okay long-term investment, but I would recommend getting it off of the community market with the buy order for a little bit cheaper than the Rust Adam store price. As I do think as a short-term investment, it's going to be uh, not a good one. And I do think you'll be able to get for cheaper. So... I will recommend investing in the porcelain furnace off of the community market with a buy order, but not off of the Russell store for this week. All right, moving over to last but not least, the graffiti metal storage box. And I don't know if this was made before or after my video last week where I was complaining about the sulfur storage having the ugly yellow outlines, but this one doesn't. It doesn't have a blue outline, so it does make the metal um, and the background of the writing metal pop out a lot more. So I really like this one a lot better than the sulfur one, to be honest. And I do wish that the sulfur one had this similar um, style like this instead. But overall, it's a good change and I definitely welcome it. Graffiti metal storage, do I recommend investing in that $3.45 cents store price for glowing deployables? Pay to win, uh, sorting box, uh, yes I do. So overall, I do think the graffiti metal storage will make you money. The sulfur one is currently uh, at like some something slightly over five dollars when I last checked, which is about 10 20 minutes ago. Um, but of course, it would have been selling for more than that throughout the day, although this is day one, so that is bound to happen. Good start for the sulfur storage, and I do think that this is a good start for the set um, as well. So, overall, I will recommend investing in the graffiti metal storage, and I do think it will be a good investment. And now we move over to the cart. Yo, 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 so this is uh, post me editing and it turns out I forgot to talk about this door. So this little cheeky bugger here is um, going for 345 if I remember correctly and it is actually a sheet metal door. Now it is slightly deceiving as it does look wooden in a way. So I do think because there's going to obviously be this new recoil meta um, and recoil shift just completely new rust basically when it comes to PvP. Um, I do think that that will bring new players in. And I do think that'll make it a little bit confusing for them. Of course, you can just craft a rock that costs like 10 stone and you can see that it's metal. Uh, then you can check your combat log, etc. Um, but also at the same time, it is a glowing deployable. It's a pretty weak glow to be completely honest, but you know, a glow is a glow and end of the day, um, it is pay to win to have. So two slightly pay to win aspects of it. Although I do think because it does have an outstanding glow and it obviously doesn't have a cutout like some of the um, other doors, it isn't going to be as incredible and the demand isn't gonna be as high. Although if you pick this one up with the community market buy order, then I do think it can perform okay as long-term investment. So overall, I will recommend investing in that off of the community market rather than the Russ Adams store. Um, but don't know how I managed to forget this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to um, tweet bloody whoever, Alistair and whoever else about my skins. Unfortunately, this is the only one I can show in this video because for some reason the um, update has removed my garage door from Dexter's server and my Balti. But uh, overall, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and we'll move over to the cart. Right, so this is my cart for this week. I'm getting at least one of everything except for the porcelain um, furnace. Honestly, I just don't think 
it was really hitting the mark. Like, I mean, it does look nice during the day. I don't really care too much for dragons. Um, but there was just no glow, and I've already got so many fat-looking furnace skins that, I don't know, just not really worth to me. Um, getting one Zebra MP5, two graffiti metal storage boxes, one black gold SAP, seven copper hoodie and pants each, and one tempered double barrel and fireflies metal door. Gonna cost me $42.30, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and remember, have a skits one. Why? 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 Why?